hello guys welcome back to your youtube channel so in today video i am covering palm in cyprus so page object in cyprus so normally we for, we use palm in palm pattern in when we automating our selenium test cases in the same fashion we can implement palm in cyprus as well so palm is a design pattern can be used with any kind of framework whether it's a keyword driven data driven or habit driven right so in palm basically we have two things test classes base class and what we do we create the object of base class in our test class and with the help of that object we will interact with the method of page class right so i have break word palm into two part po and m so where po po is stand for creating the object of the page class m is the method calling method of test class using that object so in today video i am i will explain First, explain without POM. I will explain with with a script without POM, and then we'll explain how we can implement page object model in our Cypress. So let me see one script which which is without the POM. So here you can see in this script, this is a very basic script, right? This is the login login script where I am just opening the url login into the application and after the login i am just verifying i am able to see my account tags or not in the header right so this is one of the script suppose after the uh, suppose after the logout i have another scenario where i have to verify after the login i am able to search the particular item in our site so what i have to do this is i have to create another script or we can do in this script as well but it's in that case the script became very long so suppose i have created another script for that right so i have created but what i have to do i have to open the url again i have to log into the application again because i have to search the item right so before searching i have to do all these activity again right so what we are doing here when we have not implemented page object model in our project we are just duplicating the code here you can say this it blog is duplicated right in both the script this 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 blog it blog is also duplicated so this is one of the drawback when we are not using POM in our project right so here you can see there is a duplicacy right and I cannot and also the there is a maintainability problem and the readability problem also right but with the help of POM I can we can achieve all these thing right so let me see for the advantage of POM before going to the script right so advantage of POM reusability maintainability and readability so before going to these in detail let me demo one script where I have implemented the script with POM so to implement the POM I have so I have already created the script just to, for the time saving purpose so if I have, if I want to implement POM in my project in case of cypress so what i have to do this is my integration folder here i have to create one folder here i in my case i have i have created with name pom so just click here and you can create the folder i have i have given name here pom under the pom i have created two folder for the page one for page class and another folder for the text class right these are two folder right and after that i have further created two subfolder one for home page another for the login page similarly for the test i have created here home page test and login test in the same fashion you can create multiple folder here suppose you have some search functionality you can create search folder you have some checkout functionality whatever the functionality you have in your in your application you can create folder accordingly right so let first move to the page class so i have already created one page class here in my login page folder so let me quickly see so here you can see i how how we create the page class basically just we have to we have to type like that class and then give the name of the class that i have given here login page and after that i we can give our method name whatever the method name we want to use in our login test class so in my case here i have given enter url enter username and password then the search and there are three methods and finally what i am doing i am exporting them right and here one thing i have done i have created object here in page class itself so that i don't need to create object in every place suppose i have to use this method in 10 in 10, 10 test cases so i have to 
what I have to do, I have to create the object again and again. But to save this, I have created the object here itself. So what we I have to do, I have to just import this login in my test class only. So let let me quickly go to the test class. So here is my test class under the login test I have already created. So here you can see I have imported this login page, this page basically. I have imported here, right? With the with import login from I have to just given the path name here. Also I have keep my data, whatever I am going to use in my test case like username, password, URL, whatever I have, I I keep in one of the JSON file and I have given here the just path of the JSON name. See login dot JSON here under the fixture folder. Now what I am doing here, you can see I I am just calling the method with the help of this login login dot enter url what it will do i am passing one parameter here which is login dot url url where i keep my url I, I keep my url in json file similarly i keep username and password so i am just calling url and when i click on this enter url it will open this method here so what it will do it will just type this url and open the site similarly what this method will do it will enter the username and password right right it will do all the thing here Similarly, this method it will just search the item and finally display the result. So here you can see what the what the benefit of doing this. I have implemented POM here. So here you can see all these three things. I am able to achieve reusability. I am I am able to reuse my code, right? Maintainability we can easily update. So suppose I suppose this suppose my my locator name is changed. Suppose email to email s. So what I have to do, I have to update only in one place. Suppose this this method I am using in my test cases, I have to update only here itself, and we, this can be used in all the other test cases. No need to update in to, to to update in every page class basically, right? In our in every test case, I have to come in this page class, login class, login page class, and just update here. It will it will apply for all of that. So this is one of the benefit of POM. In the same fashion, I can update some such some other thing also like i have to update this sub, sub submit login locator also i can do this similarly i if suppose i have if if i want to add something some other 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 parameter here also i can easily give here basically so everything in one place i have to update only one place and just need to call here so this is one of the benefit of the project object model so reusability we can reuse the page class right we can reuse the code Maintainability we can update in one place and it can be re reused with, with with by all the test test cases. Readability is easy because I we have separated in when we are not using POM, we are writing our, our test case in single single spec file. Now what I have divided my test case into here in, in, in case of POM I have divided into page and test so we can easily separate and so readability is easy. So in the meantime it let me quickly run this test case. So this is one of the benefit of the implementing POM. So here in this in this test center here you can see this is my root folder POM and under this there are test. Under the test there is home page test. Here you can see home page login test. Right. Let me quickly run this login because I have to run the my login test case. So in the meantime it is running. So you can see here all the three item that whether it's a readability, whether it's a maintainability or readability, I can easily achieve. So in the in the in the way in this way, we can implement page object model in our Cypress. Right. So let me quickly run this test case. So it's login, and then it will search the T set. So here you can see all the all my test cases are passed. Right. So this is one of the benefit of using POM POM in Cypress. So Thanks to watching this video, please like and subscribe my channel. And I am coming soon with part 2 where I am implementing Cucumber in POM.